Fiber optic cables These tiny strands of glass or plastic are the backbone of modern networks. Whether it's streaming your favorite show, running a data center, or connecting remote buildings, fiber optics are everywhere. But here's the big question. Do you need one fiber or two for your setup? So in today's video, we'll break down everything you need to know to choose the right fiber optic cable for your network. From understanding simplex and duplex cables to making the perfect choice for your needs, we've got it all. So let's dive in. So let's start with the basics, simplex and duplex cables. These two are the foundation of fiber optic communication. A simplex fiber optic cable has single fiber string. It's like a one-link roll, and you can send and receive data on the same fiber, but only with a special hardware called the BD transceiver. And a duplex fiber optic cable, on the other hand, has two fiber string. Now, one for transmitting, or TX, and the other for receiving, or RX. Now think of it as a two-lane highway, where traffic flow in both directions simultaneously. Now within these two cables, there's another layer, single mode versus multi-mode fibers. Single mode fiber have a thinner core and are perfect for long distance communication, like connecting cities, and multi-mode fiber with their thicker core excel in short distance applications, like within a campus or buildings. So now let's talk about RX and TX. RX is for receive, it's like your inbox for data, and TX is for transmit, your outbox. And together, they form the foundation of fiber communication. In simplex cable, one fiber handles both RX and TX using different wavelengths, and in duplex cables, each fiber has a dedicated job, one for RX and the other for TX. And here's where things get interesting. How does the fiber optic cable type affects your network? Simplex cables are cost-effective and space-saving, but you'll need the BD transceiver to make them work. And duplex cable offer higher bandwidth potential and are easier to find compatible hardware for, especially in high demand applications like data centers. So, how do you choose? You can consider these factors. Bandwidth needs. Now, simplex works for lower bandwidth, but duplex shines for high demand systems. And transmission distance. Simplex with single mole fiber are excel at long distances. Compatibility. You can check if your transceivers support BD. And of course, the cost. Simplex is cheaper, but duplex is more common in the industry. And next, let's talk about transceivers. For duplex cables, Standard transceivers like SFP or SFP Plus are widely available. And for simplex cables, you need to use BD transceivers. Now, these are special because they enable bidirectional communication over a single fiber string. And BD transceiver use two wavelengths, like 1310 nanometers for TX and 1,550 nanometers for RX to send and receive data at the same time, and also a built-in WDM filter to separate the signals. And here are some tips for installations. When you're using BD transceivers, always pair them, one for each end and with matching wavelengths. And for duplex setup, ensure your TX and RX fibers align correctly, and labeling helps. And for long distances, you should choose single mole fiber with BD transceiver. Why choose single string fiber? Well, because they reduce cable clutter and lower installation costs. And also, they're ideal for point-to-point -point connections, especially in remote or long distance setups. So, after all this explanation, which type of fiber optic cables would you choose? Now let's make a summary of their use cases. For simplex cables, 
go with long distance links, cost sensitive installations, or point to point setup. And for duplex cables, pick high performance networks like enterprise backbone or applications requiring redundancy. Now, fiber optic cables might seem complex, but with the right knowledge, choosing the perfect one for your network is simple. And whether you're building a cost-effective backbone or a high bandwidth data center, there's always a cable for every need. And thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and insights. And also, feel free to drop down your questions in the comment section below. We'll love to answer it. And I'll see you in our next video.